What is up, obscure mic people? It's me. It's Bark, and I'm back with a surprise from CAD, the Equitech E40. A medium diaphragm, as they say on the box, a condenser microphone. By all intents and purposes, it looks like a small diaphragm, but I suppose 16 millimeter capsule, 17 millimeter capsule, that might be a medium diaphragm capsule, but that's what this has. It's got a small capsule, very much like the E100S, except instead of the what is that? Maybe a 20 millimeter capsule in that one. We've got what looks like a 15, 16, 17, something like that. A little smaller capsule in here. Build quality is the same thing as absolutely built like a tank. Got switches, pads, filters. We'll show you all that in an unboxing video real quick. And then we'll move on with this microphone that is $99. Let's unbox it. And as you can see here, we've got the box for the CAD E40. And I love the touch they put on this. You can see the Equitex series right under the lid, the E100SX, all the way down to the E300. I really enjoy that. But you've got some documentation here and some other random stuff that we don't care much about. But you look into the box of the E40 and you're going to find, oh, just some rubber bands replacements. That's because I took the mic out and here it is. Man, look at that beauty. All metal construction shock mount built in black champagne absolutely beautiful microphone the shock mount one of my favorite things about this mic not to mention the xlr port where it's built it's uh there on the back protruding from the mic fits right in that shock mount and then you take a look at the underside of the mic and that's where you'll find the xlr port which i've always loved the placement of these on these cad equitex and then you got the front again, and we got some pads, and well, let's let's do a quick test of the pads here. Just close your eyes, man. Just close your eyes and just imagine. Here we go. All right, so it's on flat mode. Let's go into the low cut filter. All right, the low cut filter is on, and this is what it sounds like. Low cut filter engaged. Let's get real close to it so you can hear what it sounds like with uh, me just an inch away with that low cut on. Let's turn that back off. We're back to flat mode, back to flat mode. Now let's go ahead and do the 10 decibel pad. All right, 10 decibel pad is on. This is what that sounds like. 10 decibel pad is on, and this is the, let's turn it back on. And that'll do it for the switch test. Switch test! tell you for $99 the build quality alone is extremely impressive like extremely impressive on the build quality I love the champagne color I love everything about it aesthetically because this is one of my favorite style microphones is that E100 E100S E100 II those those microphones I love the way these things look they are absolutely just attractive that being said, for 99 bucks, let's get on with some tests, and then I'll share some thoughts, and uh, then I'll tell you what else is in store from the channel and from CAD. Plosives first. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Plosives are not good, but that's a condenser. That's how that goes. Most plosives, most mics, not great. Period. You know, just the way it is. Let's get right on top of the CAD E40. I feel like this is where you should talk from it actually, because when you get a little closer on top of it, it really starts to warm up and shine. And then you get off a little bit and it really, it loses a lot when you get off of it like this. So I almost feel like this is meant for closer miking because I really like the way it sounds with me just an inch or two away. I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and do some off-axis rejection. Talking into the microphone, you're probably going to hear some beeps. There's a truck outside with its reverse set, and it's just ee, 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 almost psycho-like. Mm, 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 mm. But let's do some off-axis rejection. It's still going. I'll let you hear it. Now we're talking into the front of the microphone. Going to turn it 90 degrees off-axis rejection. I think the beep stopped. 180 degrees off-axis. 90 degrees and then back around to the front of the microphone i gotta say um if i if i could control myself if i could make sure 
that I stay really close to a microphone like this and get that proximity effect, which just gets better the closer you get to it. Does not get boomy, it just gets better. I like that. I like the proximity effect quite a bit. I just, I wish I could get off of it a little more, but maybe I can if I turn this up a little, just a little bit there. So if I turn the gain up a little bit and stay off of it, that's a little better. Um, I, I just hate to be that loud gain wise, but man, this thing for 99 bucks, say what you want about small diaphragm condensers, but sometimes they just sound really good. And I think this CAD E40 for 99 bucks, which CAD did send over, by the way, thank you to the folks at CAD. They've been really good to me. Those guys, a couple other companies, uh, much better than most, but they've been awesome. But this microphone, which I do have plugged into the Vocaster one from Focusrite, it, uh, it sounds really nice. It's really clear. There's not an absolute ton of low end, but the closer you get to it, you can eke that low end back out of it. And I think it's, God, it sounds really good right here. If I just had that discipline to stay right here, I think it sounds really good. 99 bucks, folks. If you want that build quality, that shock mount is absolutely fantastic. One of the best shock mounts in the game. One of the best designs in the game is this Equitech series. Like you, you really can't go wrong for 99 bucks here. It's the best microphone I've ever heard. Small diaphragm. It's close on the small diaphragm. Uh, of course there's large diaphragm condensers that are going to sound better, but you're going to pay a lot more. So you got to keep that in mind, 99 bucks, build quality, clearness, clarity. I think this would be a really nice spoken word microphone. I imagine it sounds pretty good on a guitar cab. I think you could use this for a lot of different things. I, it's just a really nice freaking mic. I'll tell you some of the specs here. The self noise is 15.8 dBA. That's a little high, but you know what? Anything under like 20 is fine in my book, honestly. Max SPL is 125. The weight is 1.98 pounds. It's it's definitely a nice, heavy, beefy microphone. I love the look of it, man. If I if you guys think I sound good on this, I might have to do some podcasting on this thing because this thing is just. I think CAD has uh, convinced me of the ways of the Equitech series. I've never owned the 100s. I've never owned the 100sx. I've not had those mics, so maybe it's due time that I that I do some more of this style mic, even the vintage ones, maybe vintage, vintage, vintage. Maybe I do those too. Actually real quick, I'm going to turn on the one touch processing on the Vocaster one, the focus, right? I've got that on right now in the warm setting. And here you go. This is what that sounds like with some processing through the Vocaster one. And, uh, now I don't have to stay so close on it. Now I get that warmth and I still get that clarity. So if you've got a device that has some built-in DSP, like the Focusrite Vocaster one, which is a high recommend for me, I think it's a very cool interface. If you want just a little bit of compression and some warmth or some boost in the top end, like it, it does a really good job with those built-in effects. This microphone with that button on, I think it's shining right now, absolutely shining. And I don't have to get right on top of it. So there you go. There's my fix for the closeness problem. Love it. I'm going to go ahead and turn it back off so we can sign out without the processing. Now the processing is off. Man, that processing really made a difference. But this mic, you got an interface like that, freaking 99 bucks, grab it, go. I got to turn it back on. I got to turn it back on. It sounds way too good. This thing processed, absolute champion. Cat E40 on the BB SAR. I got to say for 99 bucks, I'm going to give it an eight. It is a fantastic buy. There's not many microphones at 99 and under that I would be happier with as far as like the total package. Again, there's some large diaphragm condensers that I think sound fantastic. The, uh, Tascam TM 180 is one of them for a really cheap price, but man, this thing build quality looks sound whole package absolutely a great buy at 99 bucks i hope you like this one drop your comments down below also i'll put a link in the description an affiliate link of course if you want to purchase this which helps obscure mics keep going keep striving yeah yeah cad thanks for sending this one over i highly enjoyed it and i've got more cad goodness coming for you they sent me a couple mics the other one's going to come to you closer to the time that it's available that way you can't watch it and just feel like i shorted you on you know the excitement like oh why is he doing it i can't even buy it i'll bring you that one pretty soon 
and it's a lot different than this one. Obscure Mics, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.